major industrial regions in India. As you can see in this diagram, we have the industrial regions seen in the north as well as south. So, Gurgaon, Delhi, Merit, uh, Chota Nagpur region, Hugli region, Gujarat, Mumbai, Pune, Bangalore, uh, Tiruvananthapuram, and Vishakapatnam, Guntur are some of the major areas uh, which are the major industrial clusters in India. But let's understand how these industrial clusters are defined. So, the first is how many industrial units are there? How many industrial workers are there? How much power is utilized for the purpose of industry? What is the total industrial output from the region? And is there any value addition to the process of manufacturing or by the process of manufacturing uh, which brings in a substantial difference would determine whether that cluster would be called as the industrial cluster or not or the industrial region or not. So based on these five parameters, we identify the different areas and what would be the areas we have already understood in that map. So the first one is the Mumbai Pune region. Now Mumbai Pune was originally meant for cotton textile. Again, Mumbai was a port area and with the opening of Swiss Canal in 1869, it brought a significant impact onto the port of Mumbai. With more trade and more opportunities, a lot of material was imported and exported through this port. So definitely development of the Mumbai Pune cluster started. Now again, this region had significant amount of hydroelectric power project which was the result of Western Ghats. With the Western Ghats, numerous rivers and tributaries draining, you had numerous hydroelectric power projects which affected the area. Besides Besides cotton textile, this region also is known for chemical industries, petrochemical industries, leather industries, synthetic industries, plastic goods industries, electrical shipbuilding as some of the major industries. The next is important is the Hooghly area. Now Hooghly area lies from Bansbaria in the north to Birlanagar in the south and then again you have Midnipur in the west. So that is the extension. So it's Bansbaria. In the north, Birla Nagar in the south and then in the west it is Midnipur. So these are the areas where you have the Hooghly cluster. Now why Hooghly cluster was important? Tea plantations from Assam, indigo cultivations from region of Bihar, jute mills from the Rishra region. All these were transported and uh, were the major areas through which Hooghly industrial region developed. Also, this region had an ample opportunity of cheap labor coming from the regions of uh, Bihar, Odisha, Eastern Uttar Pradesh. Now, besides this, what kind of factories were established? Factories were established. The most important here was Hindustan Motors Limited established at Konanagar. Then we had a diesel locomotive at Chitranjan. So Chitranjan diesel locomotive was another important plant. Petroleum refinery at Haldia was established. And then the nearby centers of Kolkata, Haldia, Serampur, Rishra, Bansbaria, Hooghly, uh, Belar were some of the, Belur were some of the areas which developed because of the Hooghly industrial region. So Mumbai Pune industrial region started with cotton. Hooghly initially started with tea, indigo, jute mills and later expanded to other plants. The next is the Bangalore Chennai industrial region. So till 1960s industries were mainly confined to the Bangalore area, Salem area and Madurai area but slowly this whole belt started to develop. The most important hydroelectric power plant here was the Picara hydroelectric power plant which was established in 1932. What kind of industries came in? Textile, wagon, matchbox, leather goods, light industries, uh, medical industries, aluminium, sugar, cement, glass, fertilizers, paper were some of the common industries. Some of the major centers which developed were Hindustan Aeronauticals Limited, Hal Plant, HMT, Hindustan Machine Tools, Telephone line, Hindustan telephone lines, Bharat electronics were established. So Bangalore, Chennai industrial area developed. The next was the Gujarat industrial area. Here from Ahmedabad and Vadoda, Valsad and Surat in the south, Jamnagar in the west, whole of this region was a center for raw material as well as market for cotton textile, not just cotton textile. Petroleum refining started at Jamnagar, 
Koyali. Then we had petrochemical industries at Ankaleshwar, Vadoda, Jamnagar, which were established. Uh, besides these, uh, cotton textile industries, petrochemical industries, dairy products, food processing, pharmaceuticals, dyes were some other industries which came up. So the whole area of Ahmedabad, Vadoda, Surat, Rajkot, Surendranagar, uh, Kheda, Jamnagar were the areas where Gujarat industrial region started to prosper and with the proximity to port this was further easy the next important sectors are delhi merit and gurgaon here electronics light engineering and electrical goods industries were established usually what we call as the footloose industries also in the nearby areas of punjab we had the woolen industries so cotton woolen synthetic hosiery uh, fabric industries came up in the south kolam tiruvananthpuram region petroleum refinery established at kochi industrial sectors at Kolam, Tiruvananthpuram, Kochi, Alapuza and uh, Punalur were established. Major industries were mainly the sugar industry, rubber industry, uh, rubber industry, then we had the coffee industry, fertilizers, fish based industries, Aluminium industry, cement industry as the major industries which were established in the Kolam Tiruvananthpuram region in Kerala. In the Vishakhapatnam Guntur area, Vishakhapatnam district to Kurnool, Prakasham in the south uh, were the major centers. So shipbuilding in Vishakhapatnam, we had the Vizak uh, steel that was uh, established. Coal was brought from Godavari. Lead and zinc smelter plants in Guntur area. Belladella iron steel plant from where iron was uh, obtained. So this whole area of Vishakhapatnam, Guntur, Kurnul, Prakasham, uh, uh, Irulu, uh, Karnul were some of the areas where uh, industries were established. The next is Chotanagpur industrial area. Here, industries were established based on heavy uh, metals. Coal was brought from the Amudar Valley coal fields. Metallic as well as non-metallic industries were established in the regions of Jharkhand and Northern Odisha. Uh, integrated steel plants were established, which we have covered in our section on iron and steel industries in India. So Jamshedpur, Burnpur, Kutli, which was the ISCO plant, Durgapur, Bokaro, Raul Kela were some of the centers which came up as the iron and steel plant. Uh, besides this, fertilizers, Paper industry, cement industry, heavy locomotives and electrical industries were established in the regions of Chota Nagpur. The major centers were Rachi, Dhanbad, Burnpur, Jamshedpur, Hazaribagh uh, as some of the major centers in the Chota Nagpur industrial area. So this is about the major industrial clusters that we can see in this map. Uh, some of the very important areas where industrialization was brought and the major factors which were responsible for the growth of industrial uh, regions have been explained the five factors which is the unit of industries uh, the number of industrial units the workers the quantum load uh, the value addition by the manufacturing plants and the total industrial output which determine whether the region would be established as an industrial region or not so this was about some of the major things that we have covered under uh, industrial geography we would be covering many interesting lectures for you stay tuned good luck